guys so today we are going to be talking about how to study your bible you are a christian you go to church you are born again you need the word of god <laughs> don't let anyone deceive you and tell you that oh that's old school oh we, we don't need to study our hard copy bibles i got my bible on my phone and stuff like that okay. whatever the case you need to study your Bible. And and I've heard teenagers say, Auntie, the Bible is just boring. Oh, the Bible is just oh, when I start studying my Bible, I, I just get tired. I just get sleepy. Oh. I want you to know that the Bible, which is the word of God, is life. You know what life means? The reason for existence. And so, if you don't study the Bible deliberately, intentionally, purposefully, you begin to die. An aspect of your life will begin to die. Do you want that happen to you? No, I guess. So, I'm going to tell you three simple ways to study your Bible and enjoy it. Maybe four, maybe five. Okay, so let's go. The first thing you need to study your Bible is your Bible. Your hard copy Bible. Yes, I know there are um, a, lot, a lot of study apps and all that on your phone, but I want to actually discourage you from using your phone. The reason being that it could be very distracting. Okay, so you're about to study your Bible and then this message just pops up on WhatsApp or Instagram from your friend and then you just, from studying your Bible, you don't even know how you find yourself on WhatsApp, on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok and all that and that's the end of the study for that day so get your hard copy Bible if you don't have one please ask your parents to get you one or save money to buy one and Bibles as as cheap as 1,000 naira for those in Nigeria okay so you can save your money there's a joy that comes with spending money and buying your own Bible so you need your Bible you need a jotter you need a pen you might need a devotional okay so i love open heavens for teens we have tivo for teens we have even plain devotionals okay you just have bible study guides how to study like a bible study plan so how to study your bible every day maybe you read this scripture and that scripture no explanations just the scriptures but they have helped you plan it out so you can use that as well and then if you can get a dictionary yes it's starting studying the word of god is that serious sometimes there are some phrases that are a bit you know too difficult and you need to really 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 understand it yeah so you need a dictionary so the first thing you do is get um, your devotional so I love open heavens let me let me go to today is may the 7th for example so you go to may the 7th you open to may the 7th okay <clears throat> excuse me you say your prayers remember that you cannot study the word of god without his spirit so you pray father in the name of jesus as we study your word today as i study your word today I pray that you will help me, you will teach me, you will show me the things I need to know. I pray that your Holy Spirit will, will explain to me, will be here with me. Help me, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So you go to May 7th. It says, read 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. You go to 2 Timothy, you open it, you read it, you know, you take your time understand what is it saying to you as a person you can you can stay still for a few minutes okay to let it sink kind of like meditating on what you have just heard that's why you need to be quiet when you are doing your, your study that's why you need to be, take away distractions like a phone your earpieces music turn everything off so that you can hear what the lord is saying after you have read that two 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 ways you can do it one is you can open your notes and begin to write down what stood out for you what did you learn what did you hear what did you understand what is the holy spirit saying to you you can write it down then you go to the devotional open it and read the notes 
that are in it. When you do that, there is a prayer afterwards. You bow down your heads. You talk to the Lord about the scripture you have just read and how you want it to impact your life as a person. I tell you the truth that if you do this consistently for even as little as three days and one week, you will find yourself having a kind of joy from within that you that you have never experienced. The word of God brings joy. The word of God brings peace. In every situation you find out that you're just calm, okay, you're just glad because the word of God dwells in you richly. I want you to begin to study your Bible and I want you to begin to study today.